Hello, welcome back to JM Electric Bikes. In today's video, we're going to be talking about this the Horwin CR6 Pro. So this is the Horwin CR6 Pro, and what makes this thing so special is that this is the first road legal all electric motorbike with a five speed manual gearbox. So that means that you have a clutch up here and a gear lever down there. So the CR6 Pro is based on the standard CR6, and therefore there are a number of shared components, but there are actually quite a few things different on the CR6 Pro that make it just that little bit better. So if you want to see a side-by-side -side of the Pro versus the standard CR6, then we have got a separate video coming on that. So make sure you keep an eye out on our YouTube channel for when that drops. So obviously the CR6 Pro is aimed at traditional bikers that are coming from a traditional petrol bike, obviously geared, and uh, want to make the switch to electric. Hence why they've gone for a five-speed manual. If you're new to bikes and you're going straight into electric, it doesn't really matter whether you have gears or whether you just have twist and go like many of the other electric motorbikes on the market. But Horwin are really trying to pull in the traditional bikers into the world of electric. And to give them that interaction of a gearbox is something that's actually quite important and they value a lot. It really does bring in a whole new level of enjoyment on the electric motorbikes. So let's first talk about performance, speed, range, all of the sort of things that everyone always asks about when they talk about electric. So the top speed on the CR6 Pro is actually quite significantly increased over a standard CR6. So this will actually top out at about 68 miles an hour, which when you consider the kind of roads that you'll be riding on for a commute, makes this a lot more versatile compared to other electric motorbikes on the market, certainly within the sub 10,000 pound mark. So the CR6 Pro makes five kilowatts of continuous power, but just over 10 kilowatts of peak power. Now that is actually an improvement over the standard CR6, which does make this thing feel much more sprightly off the line. And again, because of the gears, you can manage that torque and manage that power at any point in the, in the rev range and during your speed. So even when you're higher in the speed, you've still got a large amount of acceleration from that powerful 10 kilowatt motor. So this thing has a claimed range of up to 75 miles. Of course, that's gonna be in your classic urban environments where you're gonna be averaging somewhere around 15, 20 miles an hour within standstill traffic. So obviously, if you're gonna be pushing this up to its top speed, going down some B roads or even some A roads, you are gonna see a significant difference. But of course, for the majority of commuters who are on average going less than 30 miles to and from work on a round trip, this still is a fantastic proposition. So unlike a lot of the other electric motorbikes on the market, this doesn't have any ride modes. So on some of the other electric motorbikes, you normally have a mode one, mode two, or even a mode three that allows you to manage your power and therefore manage your range. If you're in mode one, it's normally an eco mode. That's when you'll get the best um, mileage performance in terms of range. Mode two, like a standard drive mode, and then mode three is a sport mode. So obviously the sport mode means that you're gonna be using more power and therefore you'll get less range. Eco modes help you manage that power and, uh, and give you more usable range. The Pro doesn't have that. Because you have gears, essentially you can manage your own eco mode, drive mode or sport mode, um, depending on how you interact with the gearbox. So you can quite happily um, cruise pretty much everywhere in, in one of the higher gears in this and that essentially creates your eco mode. Because you've got so much torque from the electric motor, you don't have to worry about the fact that if you're low in the RPM um, and you're in a high gear, um, that doesn't necessarily matter. All that torque helps you drive off the line anyway. Um, and of course, efficiency always comes down to how you ride. It's always um, subjective, dependent on the rider. So if you're riding efficiently, you're gonna maximize the range. And that's not only just necessarily within town and city environments, even if you're out on the B roads, you can always be mindful of, of how you're using the throttle, how you're using the gearing to maximize the range out of this bike. So obviously with that power and the capable speeds that this bike can do, you need a good brake system. And the Horwin CR6 Pro doesn't disappoint. You have hydraulic brakes front and rear with braided brake lines, 
You've got a 270mm drilled brake at the front, single-sided with LBN brakes. Now LBN is probably not a company that you've heard of, um, but they actually do a lot of development and manufacturing for car and also motorcycle brake systems. So you've got a three-pot caliper on the front, single pot caliper at the rear. Now all of that adds up to fantastic stopping power. You can really throw yourself into, uh, into any speed that you want, knowing that you have that braking system to rely on to slow you back down. So let's talk about suspension. You have upside down forks on the front and they're extremely heavy duty. The front end does feel a bit heavy compared to the size of the bike, but that gives you a lot of confidence at the higher speeds and it makes this bike feel extremely stable. You've got 155 millimeters of travel on that front suspension, um, but no other adjustment. On the rear, you have a single monoshock, which has some preload adjustment. So if you are gonna take a pillion, you can actually make adjustments to that um, to make sure that it's set properly to carry the extra weight. Although on the CR6 Pro, because of the seat design, you might not be wanting to carry pillions at all, but you do have that option if you want to. So unlike the standard CR6, the CR6 Pro has an off-board charger. Now we are hoping that Hallwin change that and put a integral charger on the Pro as well, because it is a really, really useful thing to know that you can just chuck your cables in the tank storage area here and just plug into the bike, plug into the wall, or even get type two adapter kits for these bikes. So you can pull up and charge using the car charging network system as well. Obviously, it's a really big benefit of the standard CR6, so we really are hoping that, uh, that Hallwin do make that change on the CR6 Pro. But as standard, it obviously charges off a three-pin plug, same as most other electric motorbikes in this 125cc equivalent category, um, which is fantastic. You know, you, you're going to get a full charge back in around four hours on this bike. So if you are commuting to work and you have the ability to charge while you're there, you'll have more than enough time to get a full charge back ready for your way home. All right, so let's touch on some of the controls. So all electric motorbikes in this category are extremely simple to operate. So on the right hand side here, you've got your cutoff switch. So if you come to a stop and you wanna leave the bike on, but you wanna make sure that the throttle is not active, you have a switch up on the handle here to stop that throttle being active. And that's especially important if you're pulling over and then maneuvering the bike manually because you don't want to accidentally twist that throttle and it goes shooting off, especially with it being completely silent when it stands still. Uh, it's nice to know that you've got that safety switched off and you're not gonna have any issues when you're rolling the bike around. You've also got your active or your throttle active button. So when you first turn the bike on, the throttle is disengaged as standard. Um, once your side stand is up, you've just depressed that button there and then that allows your throttle to be active, ready for you to ride away. On the left-hand side, you have your headlights, low beam, high beam. You've got a, uh, a much more traditional indicator system, which is just a, a, uh, a press to cancel in the center, and then you have your horn. Um, then of course, you do have your, um, the addition of the clutch on your left hand, and, uh, and the right hand lever is your front brake, as it would be on a traditional motorbike. So let's talk about the styling of the CR6 Pro. So the standard CR6 has a few different color options. You also have some options to change the seat, whether you want leather, PVC, different colors. Currently the CR6 Pro only comes in this design, but it is a, uh, a pretty stunning eye-catching design. Obviously you have the, uh, the faux carbon fiber, or as we like to say, the 100% real fake carbon fiber. This is a, um, a hydro dip, so, it does give the effect of carbon fiber, um, but obviously without all of the cost. You've also got this really nice pinstriping effects all over the bike, um, and the carbon and the pinstriping stretches from the front mud guard. You've got pinstriping around your headlight, the whole tank area, and, uh, and some of the side panels. You've then got this really, really beautiful seat. Um, it's got a lovely leather insert. The whole thing's leather with uh, an embossed Hallwin logo on the rear. It's a really, really beautiful design and it's super, super comfortable. So when you are out commuting or on a weekend ride, you know you've got a really, really good comfortable seat there to, uh, to, to get you through. And of course that seat is a really, really integral part of the overall design and look aesthetic of this bike. So all in all, the CR6 Pro is a fantastic bike 
And as we mentioned before, if you are going from a traditional petrol bike into electric and you want to maintain all of the interaction of a gearbox and your foot brake, then the CR6 Pro is a fantastic choice. I mean, not only is it a fantastic choice, it's currently pretty much your only choice when it comes to road legal electric motorbikes with proper clutch and gear selector. So the retail price of the CR6 Pro is £6,999. Uh, that also includes your £500 OZEV grant. So your on the road price is gonna be just over £7,000. So if you'd like more information on the CR6 Pro, you can go to our website, which is www.electrobikes.life, or you can email us at info at electrobikes.life, ask us any questions, um, or if you'd like to book a demo or order directly with us, then please do get in contact. I hope you found this video interesting. Like I mentioned, we do have a few other videos on this bike, um, so hopefully you get all the information you need but it is a genuinely fantastic bike and it's so nice to have the interaction of that five-speed manual gearbox. Thanks very much for watching. Please hit a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for plenty more videos to come.